Facts of Mars. My voice is going to be screwed up for some time until I get over this stuff, so all I can do is the best I can. But I want to uh, put this story out. Scientists have come up with a plan to manually refreeze the Arctic. This one, I don't know whether people are going to laugh at this one or whether they're going to be furious. Uh, we all know that climate change is causing Arctic ice caps to melt at record-breaking speeds. That is bullshit. That is bullshit. But now scientists have come up with an innovative, if not slightly far-fetched, way to potentially save our polar regions. Get ready. Currently, the most widely promoted solution to the problem is ask humans to stop using fossil fuels. <coughs> uh, but Stephen Desch of the Arizona State University told the observer this strategy needs rethinking. It's going to need a lot more than that to stop the Arctic Sea ice from disappearing. So, this idiot wants to take away your cars, your heating system, and so forth. And they want to do something that's totally wacky. Instead, Dash and his team want to replenish the shrinking glaciers by building 10 million wind-powered pumps on top of the ice caps. Oh... My God. These pumps will be turned on during the winter months and will work by drawing the ice up from, drawing water up from the oceans, lying hidden under the ice and depositing salt water on the surface. Are these people stupid? The main reason you get ice is you get uh, snow and it accumulates and it compacts down. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Scientist, sir, salt water freezes at a much lower temperature, which means you'll actually be melting sea ice. And this water would then refreeze in the bitter Arctic cold, creating an additional layer of ice on top of the existing ice and ultimately thickening the cap. That's utter BS. That is incredible bullshit. Dutch believes that this groundbreaking technique could potentially add <clears throat> as much as an extra meter of sea ice to the current deposits. All that, though, that might not sound a lot like for the effort required to input 10 million pumps, given the current thickness. Rarely exceeds two or three meters, this change would have a measurable impact. Thicker ice would mean longer lasting ice. In turn, that would mean the danger of all sea ice disappearing from the Arctic in summer would be reduced significantly, says Dush. They have also proposed price tag for the Spencer, ringing in approximately four billion pounds is no cheap investment. No, it isn't. It's a white elephant and a total waste of money. But perhaps an inevitable cost of maintaining our planet's future as current trends show melting signs of no slowing down. Only last week, researchers announced that there was less Arctic sea ice in January than any other January since records began, continuing a trend that began in October. Yeah, well, what this is, 
is there's less for precipitation. Uh, the precipitation patterns have changed. We're getting the same he thing here in northeast, at least in uh, sunny western New York. Some places are getting pounded, though. Only last week, researchers announced, well, they already did that, the average extent of Arctic sea ice last month was 5.17 million square square million miles, million square miles, 100,000 square miles lower than January 2016, previous record holder. That drop is equivalent to an area of ice large enough to cover all of England twice. Better get building those pumps. No, you better not. This would be a grotesque waste of money for a number of reasons. First of all, half of them, if the ice does melt like uh, what we're being told, then half the pumps are going to fall into the ocean and be lost. That's number one. Number two is, how do you propose to keep track of them? The ice doesn't just sit there, it moves around. The, there's no stable place where they can put them to do this to start with. And then you have to have some kind of pickup tube. Well, that ice moving around, the pickup tube is going to get kinked, squashed, cut. In other words, this is a humongous boondoggle you just don't want to see. I don't know whether to laugh at him or get infuriated at him. My voice is all screwed up, so I'm not going to do a lot of laughing or I'll start coughing. I think these people are completely out of their minds. They've lost it. You, conceiving of something like this, you got to have serious mental issues. Or in other words, the mental disorder of liberalism. Which is why this is a dual post. Mad science and the mental disorder of liberalism. Because liberalism is a mental disorder. And this is proof. Completely unworkable, totally absurd, and ridiculous. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.